Okay, let's continue the video series. Uh, this is the second class of medical current. And today we have the first topic as Takeda's Dengue Vaccine. The name as you can see is Qdenga or also called as TAC003. It is a live attenuated vaccine which has been pre-qualified by WHO and it can be given to the age group between the 6 to 16 years and it is a second vaccine after Sanofi's pasture vaccine. Okay. Recently, there was a death due to kidney transplantation. The name is Richard Rick Slayman. He was died after he was transplanted with pig's kidney. So, it is also called as xenotransplantation and usually pig organs are used because they have the anatomical similarities to the human and they are widespread breeding so the organs are easily available and their organ sizes are adaptable and they are similar to the human size. And one thing we can see here is genetic modification. Since the pig's organs are also undergoes genetic edits like CRISPR-Cas9 uh, technology to enhance their compatibility to reduce the immune response after the transplantation. But here we saw a, a emergency condition where the transplantation failed and this person died. So after what complication we can see after the xenotransplantation or organ transplantation is the immediate is organ rejection due to the immunity response and there could be an infection risk and the bigger risk would be the cross species transmission of diseases okay if you transfer the kidney or any organ from the animal or any species to the human their disease will be transmitted to the humans so that is what about the xenotransplantation. Next topic is smart PCR mask. If we see the condition of India, the TB cases are rising and to prevent the TB cases or to treat early as a second prevention, the child TB diagnosis is done non-invasively through smart PCR mask. And the duration they have to hold it is for 10 minutes and it is a modified N95 mask which will collect the exhaled respiratory aerosols for the TB detection through RT-PCR technology. And it is, it can be used in the any age group of the children. And if we see the rate where India is having 30% of global pediatric TB case. Next we are talking about a gene which is responsible for the Alzheimer's disease in certain people. The name of the gene is ApoE4 gene. It is a homozygote gene which impacts by accumulating the proteins which are responsible for the Alzheimer's disease by the age of 65. If the person is having this ApoE4 gene has a higher level of amyloid compared to the non-carrier and he cannot take the treatment of name as Likembi. It is usually given for the Alzheimer's disease. Because this Likembi treatment is given to the person who is having this gene is having a higher risk of brain hemorrhage and brain swelling and in this gene carriers. There are three new vaccines. First one is cholera vaccine. The name is Uvishor S, which is prepared by U Biologics. And second one is the vaccine for the meningitis. Name is MEN5CV, which is of Nigerian origin. And third one is Havishor. It is an indigenous hepatitis A vaccine which is prepared by IIL Hyderabad where two doses are given the first dose at the age of 12 month and the second dose is after the six month of first dose that is correlate with the MR vaccine. 
recently the UNPR that is United Nations Population Fund has released the report that is 2024 report where it has spoken about the maternal mortality rate so MMR has been reduced to 70 percent between 2002 2020 and even the global share has been reduced from 26% in 1990 to 8% in 2020. And if you see the higher MMR states in India, they are Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha and Rajasthan. So now we will be talking about NOTO, that is National Organized Tissue Transplant Organization. If you see the news recently, DGHS has instructed all the states government to take actions on the foreign national and as well as hospitals who are found violating TOTA Act, that is Transplantation of Human Organs and Tissue Act. The now uh, new rules says that each donor and recipients will be given with the NOTO IDs to prevent this mal actions. So the drug name is Nimesilide, which is in news because government has restricted its use. Okay, and it is already banned in Switzerland, Spain, and USA. But in India, it was put on complete restriction for the use of for the children from 2011. So why this Nimesilide is given? It's for the pain, any inflammation, swelling, and if the patient is having fever osteoarthritis and even for the menstrual cramps to whom it cannot be given is for the patient or the people who are having the blood coagulation disorder history of stomach ulcer heart failure liver and kidney related disease condition children and pregnant and as well as to the lactating mothers this drug cannot be given and if we go through the trend Nimusalide can be banned or may be banned in the upcoming days. So next one is about the main disease condition report that is TB report of 2024. If we see the trend in 2015, since 2015 if we see there has been 16% reduction in the TB cases in India and 18% reduction in TB related deaths. And if you see the incidence rates of the TB disease, it has been reduced from 237 to 199 per lakh population. And the mortality rate due to the TB has been reduced from 28 to 23 per lakh population. And if you see the notification, private sector notifies around 32% of the TB cases in the 2023 and state wise if you see and even the disease condition also more in this up and bihar these two states have the highest rate of notification in india and related information about tb is there has been a new program called as nikshai portion yojana where direct benefit transfer of financial assistance is given to the tb patients uh, per month 500 up to the 6 month and there is one more program or initiative is Nikshai Mitra where the uh, local leaders or the elite or any people who are willing to help can be registered under this Nikshai Mitra and they will assist the TB patients in their daily livings by providing them the basic needs and if you see the recent rate that is there are 1.5 lakh Nikshay Mitras are present in the India and now there are two drugs Optidrop and Jardians uh, which is a small topic here the Optidrop has been introduced by the CCAM which works through flow cytometry and it will help in the facilitate single cell analysis and if you see the Jardians it is a drug of choice for the chronic kidney disease which has been approved by the CDS CECO and dose is 10 mg per person 
and it cannot be given to the polycystic kidney disease patient there is one more is i oncology.ai it is started by aims delhi in association of development of advanced computing pune it is used to detect the breast and ovarian cancer which is more commonly seen uh, nowadays and it is also increasing in the number okay so if you see the india cancer rank it is 3 in the global range uh, it is very sad news and if you see the people who are affected by this uh, cancer there are around 8 lakh deaths in 2022 and it is increasing we can control it by the early diagnosis so that's all for today and uh, next video topics are these lymphatic uh, filariasis elimination car t cell therapy leprosy regimen smart 2.0 white lung syndrome and chikungunya vaccine we'll see you in next videos thank you